but there are very high standards to succeed in my family. Uh, my brother is a scientist, and my sister's going to be a teacher. And at some point, I'll do an event. <laughs> at some point, we thought, hey, he's finally got it together. But now, no, I, I mean, it was too. <laughs> but it all started because uh, my dad set that standard very early because he coached a Little League team all the way to the Little League World Series. It was very impressive. Uh, that's the best you can do for Little League. Uh, the only thing that's weird about that is he has four children, and none of us were on that team. <laughs> we're just coaching a bunch of 12 year old strangers. <laughs> And like, I kind of get it. Like when I was a little kid, I had other priorities. Like I re I rewrote my own my own play, my own version to the hit Broadway play Cats. <laughs> I rewrote it from start to finish because I just I didn't think Magical Mr. Mistopheles was getting credit where credit was due. <laughs> I had discrepancies. <laughs> We're coming to the end of the show. This is a part where I do want to talk about my father. <laughs> It was an appropriate time to talk about my father, the successful baby boomer at 28. Now, I, I, I always like to bring him up because I do feel that I, I kind of give a bad visual of him. He's very supportive. You know, he's always been, he's always been there for me. He's always had my back. Uh, so, like when I was seven, for my birthday, he came home from work early. He says, "Put on a suit. We're going to D.C." I said, "Why do I have to put on a suit?" He goes, because everyone in D.C. wears a suit. <laughs> I was seven, and to this day, that makes sense. <laughs> so we get there, he takes me to a nice dinner, we're walking around, we're walking around, and all of a sudden, in bright lights of the theater, cats. <laughs> I go, Dad, cats is here. He goes, huh? Why don't you go in there and see if they have some tickets for you? Like, <laughs> they're not going to have tickets for cats. <laughs> it's cats. <laughs> he goes, well, just go in, tell me your name, and we'll see what happens. I walk in, I go, excuse me. And this is just a formality. But do you have tickets for Will Abels? He went, oh, Mr. Abels, welcome. Here are your seats and he took me to see cats. Aww. And afterwards, we're walking out, he goes, what did you think, bud? I said, no, oh, I gotta tell you, I'm just like, Mr. Mustafa's could just do so much more. <laughs> if they just gave me a chance.